This topic is called Area of a Piecewise Rectangular Figure. We're asked to find the area of the figure the sides meet at right angles. So I'm sure in all of your classes you're provided with some type of formula sheet to find the area of various figures. But if you look on the formula sheet, there is no formula for area of a piecewise rectangular figure. There is no formula for area of something that looks like this. So what should we do? Well, do we have more than one way we can solve this? I'll show you both ways. There are actually three ways. Here's one way we could do it. One way we could do this is, since we don't have a formula to solve this, we want to see, can we chop this figure up into some kind of pieces that we do have formulas to solve? And I would say yes. What if we chopped this right here? and drew a line across there so that this looks like a larger rectangle here and a smaller rectangle here. Couldn't we do the area of the small piece and the area of the big piece and then add them up? Well, let's do that. Okay, the area for all uh, quadrilaterals that aren't trapezoids is base times height. So if we start with the little piece, base of 2, height of 3. And that answer will be 6. We'll come back to that in a minute because we're going to need to add that answer. If this area of this part is 6, we're going to need to add that to the area of this piece. Its base is 7. Its height. I need to know how tall this is. So it doesn't say here, if I look on this side, I see it says 8, but 8 is the entire distance from here to here. So how tall is just this piece? Well, if I look back here where I started, from here to here is 3, which would mean from here to here has to be 5, so that this would add up to 8 in total. So that means the height of this is 5. 7 times 5 is 35. So if I add the two areas up, the area of the little piece plus the area of the big piece, I end up with a total of 41. And I have to label it in square units, which I'll do in just a minute. Here's another way you can solve this one. What if I looked at this as one big rectangle and I found out the area of this big rectangle and then I subtracted this piece because this piece here, let me fill it in for you, is like empty space that's not there. So could I just figure out the area of this whole rectangle and subtract out the empty space? Yes, I can do it that way as well. So now I'll do the base times the height of the entire rectangle. Base of 7, height of 8. So I could do 7 times 8 and get 56. Now I'm going to do the area of the invisible part, this part here, and I'm going to actually subtract it from the 56 because it's not there. So if I take the base of the invisible part is 5, the height is 3. 5 times 3 is 15, so then I would know I could take the area of the whole thing and the area of the invisible part and subtract them and I still get 41 which was the answer that I started with so either way I still got 41 so when I type in the answer I get 41 it was already labeled for me in square units because area is always measured in square units and that is how you solve area of a piecewise rectangular figure